I got some huge news for next generation Nvidia graphics cards. Let's talk about it. That's right, if you've been looking forward to the next generation of NVIDIA graphics cards, which are going to be codenamed Blackwell and also called the RTX 50 series, then you guys are definitely going to want to pay attention to today's video because there was recently a huge leak when it comes to the RTX 50 series that you are not going to believe. Now, this information actually comes from a WCCF Tech article, and if we take a look, they actually originally got their information from a Digi Times article, and here's what they had to say about the RTX 50 series quote Nvidia estimates that it will not enter the three nanometer generation until 2025 that's right you heard me correctly 2025 but before we panic just wait let's read on a little bit further to see how this could affect your purchasing decisions over the next couple of years they go on to state quote currently gaming gpus use the 5 slash 4 nanometer family while ai gpus are 7 nanometer and 5 slash 4 nanometer families it is estimated that by 2025 years will enter the 3 nanometer generation now if some of that sounded like absolute garbage it's because it was translated so there is a potential for some errors but we do have to talk about this guys and we will get into the specs of the next generation and when exactly they could be releasing based on some other leaks and stuff that I've been hearing as well but let's talk about three nanometer real quick now I have been hearing that potentially three nanometer could end up getting delayed at least when it comes to GPUs for a couple of weeks now now I hadn't made a video on it yet because I did want to see some more substantial stuff being put out there and it does look like we finally got that with this Digi Times article. Now, of course, we'll have to wait and see whether or not this truly does mean there is going to be a delay. And speaking of delays, let's go ahead and talk about the release date because I know a lot of you are thinking 2025, that's a long way away. I mean, we're just getting into 2023 here and typically we're on a two-year cycle when it comes to these GPUs. And honestly, in the past, there were times where we got GPUs in less than two years. So going on three years, years between GPU generations is definitely something that you guys are not going to want to hear and certainly something that I wouldn't want to hear either because I'm a tech enthusiast and I want to get my grubby slimy little hands on those new GPUs as soon as possible. So again, does this mean they're delayed? Now there is a possibility that there could be delays with this next generation of GPUs simply due to the fact that there's very low demand compared to what Nvidia was expecting for the RTX 40 series. Now that being said, while that is a possibility, I'm going to throw this one at you guys. I think based on everything that I've been hearing, it's unlikely that we're going to be seeing a delay pushing it into 2025. No, instead, I think that Nvidia is going to actually go ahead and shift gears and get their GPUs onto the 4 nanometer process. Now, I know what you might be thinking. If you've studied the current architecture, you'll also know that they are calling it, I think, technically a 4 nanometer type of process for these GPUs, but that isn't necessarily true as from what I understand, it's actually a optimized 5 nanometer process from TSMC that the RTX 40 series is currently on. So the true 4 nanometer process that they could be moving to could still give them some gains over their current 4 nanometer process that they're using for the RTX 40 series. So if they do choose to use that for the RTX 50 series, yes, there still could be some performance per watt gains or possibly even just performance gains that they could get just by switching from the optimized 5 nanometer to the 4 nanometer process. Process. So don't worry, there will definitely be a large jump in performance from everything that I'm hearing right now when we move to the RTX 50 series. So if you want a much faster graphics card, yes, the RTX 5090 is likely going to be much, much faster than the RTX 4090. And how much faster are we talking? Well, we'll get to that in just a second, but just to wrap up, the release date stuff here guys again i don't think that they're gonna delay it is a possibility but i don't think they're gonna do it because if they did delay their gpus then amd would surely win for at least a year with their next generation of gpus as from everything i'm hearing amd has not delayed their next generation of graphics cards and knowing nvidia they're just way too hyper competitive to allow amd to get away with that so i wouldn't count on nvidia delaying that so if you see other people saying nvidia is delaying their cards i'd say possible 
but unlikely. And when exactly do I think they're going to be releasing the RTX 50 series? Well, I do think we are going to be seeing a release date at the end of next year, probably very likely to be between September and actually November of 2024. So if you're expecting it to be right around the corner, I don't think that's the case. Now there is a possibility that we could be seeing a super refresh and it seems like every day that goes by that possibility only becomes stronger. So you could be seeing that by the end of this year or early next year if you're looking forward to new GPUs even sooner than the RTX 50 series. And they will likely be bringing some pretty good price to performance and correcting the RTX 40 series if they do go ahead and launch those cards, which would be a response to the Battle Mage GPUs coming out next year, hopefully early from Intel as well, as those could be very scary considering the amount of price to performance they're likely going to bring. So there you have it in terms of release state likely going to be seeing it by the end of next year. But what about the specs and performance? Now, we don't have necessarily the performance nailed down at this point, but if we take a look at leaks from people such as Red Gaming Tech, they're spouting stuff such as over 2x versus the RTX 40 series. Now, are they actually going to be able to achieve 2x? Well, when we take a look at the specs and break it down, I think it's unlikely we'll see that. Now, it could be getting 2x in terms of ray tracing, but in terms of rasterization performance, it is likely that they will be falling short of that 2x. By how much? That that's up in the air, but I wouldn't be surprised if you saw at least 50% more performance out of the RTX 50 series when compared to the RTX 40 series. And if we take a quick look at the leak specs, we're taking a look here at two possibilities for the RTX 5090. Now, the first one is going to be based off of a 384-bit bus, and it's going to have 144 SMs, much like the RTX 4090 Ti, for a total of 18,432 CUDA cores, or at least that's the current leak that we got from Red Gaming Tech. Now, will it actually be that? Only time will tell, but he has gotten a number of things right in the past, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down here, but do take it with a grain of salt. Now, if it does have 18,432 CUDA cores, according to the leak as well, we're talking over 3 gigahertz. If they're going to be hitting at least 50% more performance and upwards of 80% more performance, they are going to need a really high clock speed as well as IPC gain. So I'm estimating if they do really get a very large performance increase, it's going to have to hit closer to 3.5 gigahertz. Now, if it has a 384 bit bus, we're going to be getting 24 gigabytes of G7 memory running likely at 36 gigabits per second for a total memory bandwidth of 1,728 gigabytes per second with 96 megabytes of cache and a TDP of 475 watts. So an absolute monster. But guys, it could be even more monstrous as Comp87 Kimi was mentioning, it could potentially have a 512-bit bus. Now, this was just speculation from him, but if it does end up having a 512-bit bus, that would be absolutely insane, and that would mean we're actually going to be getting 32 gigabytes of G7 memory running on a 512-bit bus at 32 gigabits per second for a total memory bandwidth of 2,048 gigabytes per second. Absolutely insane. And you combine that with the 96 megabytes of cache and 475 watt likely TDP. And we're going to be talking about an absolutely monstrous GPU. Now, I don't know about you guys. I'd love to see a 512 bit bus. I think it's probably more unlikely. I think we'll probably be seeing 384 once again. But if they are able to squeeze a 512 bit bus into this card, it is going to be monstrous. For not only gaming, but any other workload you could possibly throw at it. Not only is the 32 gigabyte capacity absolutely insane, but on top of that, that memory bandwidth is going to allow this thing to absolutely scream. And I think this will be the first card that can truly handle 8K gaming at slightly higher refresh rates, especially if you use DLSS with all that memory in memory bandwidth and do it pretty well. So that's going to be absolutely crazy if we do end up seeing that. So there you have it, guys. There's the release date. There's the specs. There's the performance everything that I know about the RTX 50 series so far based on all these various different leaks. So it's starting to sound like a very, very exciting generation and all the pieces are starting to kind of come together. I think we're talking about the reason why it's going to have the same amount of cores is because they're likely only going to be moving to the four nanometer node versus the three nanometer node, which means they just aren't going to have quite as much die area as they thought they would. So it is going to definitely require a serious rework of the entire architecture to pull off a big 50 to 80% performance lift, which is probably the range in which I would expect to be seeing the at least flagship GPU over the current flagship GPU, the RTX 4090. But if they're able to pull that off, yeah, that's going to be mighty impressive. And I cannot wait to get my hands 
on the RTX 5090. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the RTX 50 series is going to be delayed, or do you think they're going to be using the 4 nanometer node and trying to get it out as quick as possible? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.